Now we've got everything installed, next step is to just get our spout output out from Unreal using the Offworld Live Toolkit. Super easy, super quick, let's get it. So yeah, we should have the ability to add the Spout 2 captures NDI sources into OBS now. What we want to do first is just give it something to stream out from Unreal for us to pick up. So let's jump into Unreal again and press on this Offworld Live Toolkit uh, live stream wizard, click on that. And what do we want? We just want a regular Al Cinecam, you can choose the three if you want to experiment with that go live stream via spout live stream via ndi so we can check both of those just might as well uh, test both of these out live stream name let's call it dancer output and just go create so what this has created for you now is a camera component which is the off world camera check out the mesh here this acts exactly the same as a regular cine cam you can have all the same settings as an unreal cine cam but the main thing is it's got this capture component connected we can go into more stuff you can do with this capture component but yeah this is all your camera camera settings capture component this is your output settings uh, you can see here it's created for us immediately a texture target uh, this texture target is being sent to the or picked up by the sender manager uh, and you can see we've, we've got an NDI sender manager and a spout sender manager because we we ticked both of those boxes but yeah what all these sender managers are doing we'll go for spout to start with all these sender managers are doing are picking up the cinecams texture target so you can double click on that and test that out see how that's looking all this spout sender is doing is picking up that render target and uh, the spout sender manager all that's doing is using spout to send that out to obs or whatever other program you want to you want to send out via spout. So now we have our source material. This should be picked up by OBS, this render target. What we can do is uh, just give it a simulate. I've just set my, uh, if you don't know how to simulate, I've just, you can do active play mode simulate. This just means you have more ability to move around, do what you want while the game is going on or the simulation is going on. And you can see here, we've got some output. I'll just reposition the camera a little bit, uh, maybe just by going pilot. Reposition this. So yeah, that's nice. Dance the output, wicked. We got some output. So now over in OBS, uh, once we got that open, what we can do is go uh, plus down here, add a spout two capture. I'll we'll call this dancer input, and it'll say use first available sender. It should literally just pop up like that straight away. So that's so sick. We're getting the output from Unreal in real time, literally picking it up off the GPU. So you're getting zero latency, and it's happening in real time, literally that easy, that quickly. It's absolutely mental. So we're getting that image replicated from Unreal into OBS. Super cool. You can do first available sender, but we can also choose our dancer output. Uh, I like to choose the exact output I want so it doesn't pick up another sender by accident. Also got my stream here, which is my other instance of Unreal that I'm running. So, you know, if you can run multiple instances of Unreal, there's possibilities there. But yeah, dance the output, let's select that. We can meddle with alpha in a later video and leave the poll time for now. And hit OK, and literally like that, we've got our Unreal output into OBS just like that. Uh, I've got my other Spout 2 capture here. You can layer, layer that, make, make that smaller, and there you go, you've literally got a live stream set up. Super quick, super easy, and yeah, literally possibilities are endless with this stuff. So yeah, I hope that's useful to you, and you can see that there's some mad possibilities that we can get into. Next up, let's get into alphering out your character on the background. So, you know, once you have your spout input, you want to be able to have this clean alpha background um, so that you can be on top of your game <laughs> to get on top of your game. Um, you know, just really nice technique for, for getting your avatar onto your background with really nice clean alpha, no green screen involved, uh, literally just selecting an actor and you have this lovely al alpha out uh, avatar on the background. So we'll go into alpha settings in the next video. So catch you in those ones. Cheers.